Hi, I'm Hannah with Keep Omaha Beautiful. Thanks for joining me. I am really excited because we get to do a really awesome creative activity today. In the last few activities, we learned about birds, mammals, insects, and spiders, and how they live in their habitat. For this new activity, you're going to get to create your own critter. From those past activities, you know that a good habitat provides animals with food, water, shelter, and space. And you know from observing different animals in the urban ecosystem that they are well adapted to survive in their habitat. So here's the challenge I have for you. Think about all those animals we observed and other animals that you know about, take some pipe cleaners like these, and create a creature that is adapted to live in the habitat around your school. Think about the creature's habits. Is it a carnivore or an herbivore? Where does it find its food and water? Where does it find shelter? How much space does it need? After you create your creature, you should be able to answer all of those questions about it. Here's a creature that I created. I'm calling it a long-tailed butterfly mouse. It's a mammal, like a mouse, um, except that it has this long proboscis-like tongue, like a butterfly. Um, butterflies use their long proboscis to drink nectar from flowers, and that's just what my little mouse does. He uses this um, proboscis to drink nectar from dandelions and other weeds. Uh, it can find lots of food around my school because there's lots of weeds. It is red and orange and yellow because it likes to camouflage into the bricks near the building. Um, and so it makes its nest out of tiny little uh, rocks and gravel that it finds um, near the building and it makes a little nest that it can hide in where it's camouflaged. So that's my creature. What can you make? After you complete your animal, answer the questions on your handout or tell a friend about your creature. So get going, start creating and have fun.